Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny No longer blinded I can feel I'm on my way to meet you Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Bible study and on today's video we are going to be reading Psalms 1 verse 1 to verse 6 and I'm going to be reading out of the Good News Translation Bible and the word says, Happy are those who reject the advice of evil people, who do not follow the example of sinners or join those who have no use for God. Instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord and they study it day and night. They are like trees that grow beside a stream that bear fruit at the right time and whose leaves do not dry up. They succeed in everything they do. But evil people are not like this at all. They are like straw that the wind will blow away. Sinners will be condemned by God and kept apart from God's own people. The righteous are guided and protected by the Lord, but the evil are on their way to their doom. Now, my understanding of this text is simple. And the one thing for me that stood out is that we will bear fruit at the right time. I think that some of us have become so restless when it comes to our success when it comes to our prayers not being answered we do not understand that at the right time you will bear fruit it is not your time yet to bear fruit it is not your time yet to enjoy the fruit of your labor it is not your time yet you still have to work you still need to put in the hours in order for you to succeed. God says that we succeed in everything that we do. We will succeed in everything that we do. But a lot of people forget that with success comes hard work. There's a right time for everything. And with time, you will bear fruit. You will see your business succeed. You will see that you know people will give you the recognition that you believe you deserve. And a lot of people also, you know, they speak of do not follow your heart's desires. Yes, don't follow your heart's desires. But God also said that follow me and I will add on all your heart's desires. So it's not wrong for you to desire to be successful. But it's wrong for you to do shortcuts in order to get that success. There are certain things that we need to learn along the way. And one of the things is that we need to work. We need to work. It doesn't help that you're standing in God and yet you're not consuming what he's giving you. You know, these trees that God are speaking of when he says that they, they, are, they are like trees that grow beside a stream. Those trees had to grow out roots in order to be able to consume the water that comes from the stream. Have you grown your roots yet? Or are you just expecting to grow? Because nothing can grow without roots. Nothing can grow without water. So what are you doing? Have you grown your roots? You know, have you given up the things that is leading you astray, that is leaving you, that is leading you away from God? That's, these are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. Now, another thing that I feel like people have seemed to forgotten is that you do not follow the advice of people that do not follow God. Some of us go out of church and we go to people that are not righteous and we ask for their help and their assistance. And then we end up crying and wondering like, have God forsaken me? No, you went to the wrong person. That person gave you advice that doesn't come from God. The source of the advice that they give you is not from God. Why are you going to that person? God also states that, you know, he's, he will separate his people from sinners. So why are you a person of God going to sinners knowing very well that these people are not righteous? These people do not follow God and yet you still go and you ask for advice from them. Why? Why are you asking advice and seeking advice from people? And here's another one. Why are you seeking financial assistance from people that do not follow God? Why? 
You do not even know the source of that person's income. And yet you want to take that money and put it into church. You want to take that money and put it into your business. You want to take that money and, and try to help your household. Everything is falling apart because the, the money, the place where you got that help did not come from a good place. The devil knows how to bless too. And unfortunately, his blessings at the end of the day come with doom. There's no life at the end of that. And another thing that I need people to also understand is that God says that we will succeed in everything that we do. We will succeed in everything that we do. But we need to remain close to him. Because how else is it going to guide you? How else are you going to receive God's guidance if you're far away from him? How? You cannot follow a path unless you are on the path. You cannot follow a path unless you are on the path. If you're not on the path, how can you follow it? How can you follow the path that God has given you? Another thing that stood out for me is that we should not be angry with God when he, he keeps us apart from sinners. Have you ever noticed when you get closer to God, you find that people around you are just disappearing. You have no reason why. People around you are just disappearing. The relationships are not working out anymore. Because God is separating you from sinners. You cannot grow with those people. You cannot go in fellowship with those people because they do not know God. They do not know God. So do not become angry with God or try to condemn God or try to force God to keep you in circles, in situations where he knows that you will not benefit from. Yes, that job paid you well, but it doesn't benefit you spiritually. You got the money and then you forgot about God. So in order for God to remind you who he is, he needs to take away the, the, that job. Even though you might sleep hungry, but he will rather have you sleep hungry and, and have saved your soul and saved your spirit than have you sleep with the full stomach and give you over to the devil. That is love. To see your own kids suffering, but you know that it's for their own good. This is why we always have to pray, God have mercy on me. God have mercy on my children. Do you guys remember Job? God has had no excuse at all to do what he did to Job in the Bible. He had no excuse other than to show his glory. Job did nothing. He was a righteous man. He followed the law. You know, he tried his best to also advise his children to do good. Even though they, they did whatever they wanted to do. But as a father, he persisted and continuously tried to help his children to get onto the right path. When it comes to God, it's for his glory. It's for his glory. And that's why we always pray, God have mercy on us. God have mercy on us. You know, and another thing I need to make people understand is that when you are righteous, you will always be protected by God. And what is being righteous is doing the right thing. We forgot to do the right thing, especially in the church. And, you know, the message of the day in church was um, about the lost sheep and about the shepherd going after that one sheep and rejoicing. And the preacher of the day said that, what are we doing to help God get back that, 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 that lost sheep? Because we are inside the church and yet there are people outside of church that they don't want to come to church because they believe that we feel that we are too righteous. They don't want to come to church because they feel that the church don't understand me. I'm not comfortable there. What are we doing to bring back people into the church? How helpful are we? Are we sharing the good news of God's word? Are we sharing it? Are we really sharing it? 
Are we sharing our testimonies? These are the things that also help people get closer to God. To say, you know what God, if you can do that to them. If you can help them get out of that situation. You can help me with mine. So I think that, that these are the things that I took away from Psalms 1. Verse 1 to verse 6. Um, guys, comment down below. What have you taken away from the scripture and if there are any scriptures that spoke to you this week please you know put them down below and let's discuss it i hope you guys have a blessed week and i will see you in my next bible study stay blessed and may god continue to protect you and have mercy on you amen no, I'm a child of God.